Here we are today, we're gonna to show you how to do an ECU flash with the new Agency Power Tune ECU software. So you'll get, for your vehicle, a OBD2 cable and a OBD2 dongle. You'll need to plug that into your computer and follow the directions that we have on the website. Once you receive your items, you'll go to www.agency-power.com forward slash installation, and that's where you'll find the instructions to do the ECU flash. First, we're gonna go there, we're gonna read the instructions, and then we're gonna download the application. So let's check it out. Once we read through all the instructions, we'll go ahead and click the download link, which will take us to this password protected page. Uh, the password currently is FLASHME in all capitals. So once we enter that password, it'll give us access to the download page. Um, this particular vehicle we're going to flash today is a Porsche, so we're going to choose to download the Porsche iFlash. So we're going to go ahead and save that to our computer. And once it's saved, we're going to run and install it. And depending on your security of your laptop, it might ask you if you want to install it, do you know this publisher, do you want to install this driver? Everything is okay, so you definitely want to press yes to get it installed properly. Now, if you do have a Windows 8 computer, there's a different process you have to do to enable the drivers, and that is located and hyperlinked on how to do that on our installation page. This particular laptop we're using is Windows 7. So here we have the Welcome to the AP Tune Porsche Flash. And we're just going to click next to the setup, pick our directory to install, and run AP Flash once it's done. So we're going to click finish. Um, now that it's all up and running, we'll go through the process and uh, click the I agrees and start the read and write process. So uh, we're going to switch and show you a step by step on how it's done via the screen. All right, now that we've plugged the OBD2 cable into the computer's USB port, we're gonna go ahead and plug this into the car. Uh, the USB port in the 996 and the 997 Porsches uh, is located pretty easily uh, right here under the dash. Now for other cars such as a BMW, um, Audi, uh, Lamborghini, Bentley, other ones, you might have to look under here and find exactly where it is, but usually they're directly underneath the dashboard steering wheel area. Once you plug in the OB2, the green light's going to come on, and then you can begin going through the flash client sequence. Um, once you launch it, you'll click the I agree terms, and you'll do the next, and it'll check that you have power onto your, com your computer, and you'll want to put power onto the car, so you want to make sure that you turn the car so all the lights are on. You'll have all your warning lights, all your check engine lights, all that information, um, so your dashboard's lit up. Typically on a write process, you want to make sure you have a battery charger on there. Um, if you're doing the write process and the battery dies, it could brick the ECU. So make sure you put a battery tender or battery charger on there. Um, so now we'll continue through the next process. It's going to look for communication to the vehicle. So now that it's connected to the vehicle, um, it'll ask you for the ECU type. This particular one is going to be a Bosch ME 7.8 MIN. If you don't know your ECU type, don't just select any of them. Once you select an ECU type, it'll lock to the cable. So you can always look on the actual product page where it'll show the ECU type or you can contact us for help. So this car we're going to select the Bosch ME 7.8 MIN. It's going to ask if we uh, are sure about the selection. We're going to click yes. Um, then we're going to click the next button, and that'll then take us to the part where it'll lock the VIN and ECU type to the dongle. And now we'll do the read ECU memory. Depending on the file size is how long it'll take. Um, this particular one is going to be 256 kilobytes, and we'll go ahead and click read ECU memory. Um, we're going to save this to our desktop in a folder that we have. Once the file is done, you need to reaccess this file and email it to tuning at agency-power.com. 
So now we're reading the ECU. It's going to calculate the time it's going to take and it's going to start going through the different memory blocks. Uh, this usually takes about three to five minutes depending on the vehicle. You never want to interrupt the, the process of reading or writing, especially the writing. So you generally just let it do its thing. If some, something happens, um, it's best to contact us right away. Depending on the car, the fans will come on, a check engine light might pop on, but this is okay, it's normal during the reading process. So we finish the readout, it'll ask if we'd like to uh, open the read floater, we can click yes or no. I know it's on the desktop, so we'll go there later. Now that the car is done reading, we can then email the file to tuning at agency-power.com along with the invoice number, octane type, transmission type, year, make, model, and any mods on the car that you have. Um, so now we can unplug everything and turn the car off. Depending on the time that you uh, send in your file to Agency Power, um, you usually have it back within uh, 24 hours. Um, after you unplug everything from the car, you can then drive it, use it as normal. Once you receive the file back, you'll plug in your cable back to the car, turn the car to the on position, and you'll load the file following our installation instructions. So stay tuned for the next part.